All right. Uh, back now after a couple days. Just uh, checking where I gotta go. Right, I just ran and got the uh, uh, broken butterfly. So I had done that. Uh, I think Ashley came from over here, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if I could have uh, gone back in there and, you know, shot all those night guys and stuff that were chasing Ashley, but uh, I guess not. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll get a chance to shoot some of them shortly. seem like a good idea to be leaving her alone there. Like, we just went through all that to rescue her. And it's not like she's even hiding anywhere. They should have, like, a cupboard or something that she'd hide in. So these kind of things are weird. There's a lot of spots in this where, like, you go in and it does, like, a cutscene. And then you take, like, five steps and it does another cutscene. I guess this just, yeah, this is kind of like how, uh, I don't know, over the top uh, Hollywood this place is. Like, he's got a, a lava castle inside his place. Those uh, broke easier than I remembered. Uh, for some reason I thought they were going to be, you know, I'd have to be plugging away at them for quite a bit. I don't know, I thought there was going to be like kind of a whole thing where they'd be moving around and, uh, you know, I'd have to keep repositioning and shooting them and stuff, but uh, I guess not. Uh, now the enemies start to... Uh, I think they really start jumping out now. No? I don't know. I guess I don't really remember this as much as I thought I did. For some reason I thought, like, as soon as you took that, they'd all just start 
uh, flooding in from the uh, jump down spots, and it'd be like a real fight to get back here. Uh, now, now it's the uh, underground part. It's kind of strange how some of the key items, uh, you use them one by one, and others you gotta combine them and then use them. Okay, we're still not at the part, but I, uh, I keep thinking we're gonna get to the spot where, uh, Salazar, or whatever, pops out with his, uh, uh, guy, and I get dropped into the pit. can survive this time. She just shoot him. Wait. 
Follow me. That spot's uh, not very difficult. Well, I guess it is an instant death if you fail, so... Uh, right. I guess that's the right weapon. They got a giant drill machine. Another one of these. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, just break here. Uh, do all this and then uh, continue. Okay. Uh, Alright, I did all the uh, well, shooting range well. things there. Got the Got money and all the body uh, bottle caps. miss these uh, the last parts here what are you buying I thought you were supposed to have them all by now is that all stranger <laughs> thank you is that all strange <laughs> thank you is that all stranger <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Yeah, I think uh, firepower is really Come the most beneficial uh, in terms of ammo usage. Every other upgrade just lets you use ammo faster. Uh, but the firepower, in you know, actually increases the amount you get for your ammo. It's a funny looking guy. He looks like a meme or something. Uh, let's see. I came from south. Uh, I gotta go through here, I guess. Uh, 
think I fight all the knights in the next room. He's getting kind of empty too. Guessing this is what I'll use. I just removed it there uh, in case doing the quick time events I uh, somehow hit the wrong button and shot. Well, if I can. Wait. I can do that. I hope that doesn't just automatically kill her or anything. Headshots do more on these guys. Okay. I can get through without uh, needing to reload the uh, uh, Magnum, then I can uh, upgrade its capacity uh, to refill it without wasting the ammo I've got for it. Mine throw is probably not a good idea. It's too slow to shoot. And it would, uh, there's a good chance I would get hit by the explosion too.
I like all the, uh, I don't know, the fun little encounters in this. Like, it's not just the same creeping through, shooting zombies the entire time. You've got spots like that, and, uh, I don't know, like the chairlift spot, and the, I don't know, when Ashley's, uh, doing the cranks in the water area. There's just a whole bunch of little kind of neat encounters that are all a little bit different. Uh, I'm hoping I can upgrade it now. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Yes. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Yeah, I think typically I just shoot that when I get it, and then I sell it. And then I end up using the uh, Killer 7. Good. One of them. Okay. I uh, thought I was supposed to be able to uh, hop over this. Maybe it's in the next room. Should have used it on that one. Oh well. Ah. I should have slashed twice. Wait a minute. Alright, I guess you can go in through the front door or up here. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, they kidnap Ashley here again. No, I want to uh, get rid of that. TMP would have been really helpful here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it would have been good to leave her up there. I think she gets kidnapped here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. I think if you shoot them, like, with anything when they're in the air, they die instantly. So that's, I don't know, a good thing to know. Okay, so that's where they come in. Yeah, if you shoot that, the big thing down, you get a ton of uh, green eyes and stuff. So aside from this, I don't know, recently I started playing uh, Pokemon Snap, uh, the new one. Uh, I didn't have it as a kid, but I did rent it for a week or whatever, uh, long enough to, you know, beat it. And I did all the, I did the blockbuster, uh, you know, get me the stickers, which... You know, I was little, so I don't, I have no idea how much they cost. I'm guessing they were probably, uh, not too cheap. I've still got the, the Blockbuster, uh, Pikachu card from that. Uh, so I haven't played too much yet. I've just done a couple areas. Uh, it seems pretty, pretty good anyways. Uh, it does look really nice, anyways. There we go. Back at any time. What are you selling? Ah, <laughs> thank you. Is that all? I'll keep a couple of these. <laughs> Thank you. I don't. I don't remember if I get another butterfly lamp or not. Uh, yeah. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. So, anyways, I Thank I'll probably you. just go through it and you know uh, just beat it and then be done with it. Uh, I don't because do I think I've probably mentioned before I don't typically do the whole you know going through uh, 
you know, doing every little thing and spending forever on, like, the, uh, you know, kind of free, do whatever you want kind of stuff. Like, it looks like there are a lot of people who are just, uh, you know, making all kinds of cool, uh, pictures and stuff like that, but, uh, I'm probably not going to do that. Yeah, so I don't know if I can completely that upgrade old, anything now. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I thought you were supposed to unlock some special ability once you fully upgraded these. Unless that's... Maybe that is, like, in the next time I meet him. Uh, he unlocks that. I'll be able to, uh... You know, you get, like, an adi one additional level of something. Uh, if I hadn't known that, I probably wouldn't have upgraded the capacity. What are you buying? Uh, I also just got uh, Disgaea 6. Uh, it's not out here yet, but I ordered the Japanese version. Uh, I'm going to be playing it in Japanese anyways, and I'm not sure if the uh, uh, the North American version will end up having uh, Japanese language support. A lot of, like the vast minority of uh, Switch games, they do have uh, every language built into them. But I know a lot of the kind of uh, anime style games, uh, you know, they have famous voice actresses and stuff, and uh, they tend to only end up having English, uh, either only English voice acting, or if they do have Japanese voice acting, they often don't have uh, Japanese uh, text built into them. And I wanted that just for the practice. There, uh, uh, yeah, like I, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Dragon Quest and uh, the Digimon game. Uh, I I think those don't have uh, like Japanese uh, text and stuff. They do that because they they tend to be a bit more expensive. Like they'll be like uh, you know an extra thousand or two thousand yen more than most other games. Uh, and so they're just. They do that so that people can't, uh, Japanese people can't just import the Western release and then uh, play it. At least I'm pretty sure that's why they do it. I haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to play it, it just came today. Uh, the only other Disgaea I've played is... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've played uh, 2. On the PS2, that was one of the games I got on it. Uh, and that was kind of the last time I played one of them, so looking forward to going through this. Yeah, they're not like my favorite uh, tactical RPGs, but they are, I do like them a fair bit, and uh, I don't know, I'm interested to see kind of the difference between, you know, 2 and 6, and uh, uh, it looks like it's got 3D models now, which will be interesting. 
Uh, see if they do anything cool with that. Also, it looks like they've got a lot more, uh, like, monster classes, especially, like, the monster girls. Uh, that was kind of, that was honestly, like, a fairly large part of why I got it. Um, probably, if it's feasible, just gonna end up making a team of, uh, like, monster girls. Yeah, hopefully I get to that soon. I'm always a bit uh, you know, disappointed when I go and I, Im I spend the extra money to import a uh, Japanese copy of a game uh, and then don't get around to playing it until the Western version is released. It feels like kind of a waste. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the controls are at the top. So I just gotta work my way down. Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, you go down to the bottom and then kind of work your way back to the top. Oh, I do, I don't know if I said, but I do really like the art style in Disgaea, anyways. Yeah. Right, I go up to the top, uh, then that opens that. Yeah, the the thing I just don't like about it is how uh, I I don't know what uh, term would be I guess like loose and open maybe uh, like you know any I if I recall correctly like any character can you know use any weapon and uh, reincarnate in any class and uh, you know just stuff like that and you can you know upgrade any weapon and there's a whole bunch of you know it's one of those games where if you wanted to, you could just sink like thousands of hours into just doing everything. And I don't typically like games like that. I prefer them more, you know, tighter and more restricted. Uh, but all, but that's largely just because I, I tend to get uh, distracted by that stuff easy. And I spend the first, uh, you know, I spend like 30 hours just doing the optional stuff, and then I get sick of the game before I'm, uh, you know, anywhere in the main story. So, probably in Disgaea, I'm going to try and just stick to the main story and just kind of gun straight through it. Uh, my favorite tactical RPGs are probably... Uh, well, my favorite is uh, Tactics Ogre, The Night of Lotus. After that, it would be uh, probably Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate there hasn't been many more games like uh, Tactics Ogre, Night of Lotus. Uh, you know, I like it because it's got, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like the perfect mix of like all the stuff I like in a tactical RPG. Jumping down ladders is always uh, stressful. It's like, you know, you never know if somebody's going to be standing right there. Ow. Those red, yellow, green mixes are very good to sell. Uh, I think in New Game Plus, you, yeah, by the time you're like midway through New Game Plus, you'll have uh, upgraded uh, Leon and Ashley's health uh, completely, uh, and then you can start selling those for quite a lot. Although by that point, uh, I don't think you end up needing the money anyways. But uh, yeah.
I do probably want to do a video sometime on Patrick's Ogre, but uh, anyways, I like it that it's got uh, it's got generic characters, which is uh, I always prefer that because then you can just have you know whatever team you want. Uh, you know, if you want, uh, you know, if cer certain classes or whatever, you can do that. Uh, and that also tends to cut down on the amount of story stuff. Like, Fire Emblem has, uh, you know, just too much talking because every character is unique. Uh, and the, you know, the Toho tactics game that I've been playing, uh, Yeah, there's a Toho, like, Fire Emblem clone on the Switch, uh, on the Japan eShop. Uh, and it's just got, like, tons of, uh, dialogue. Like, every character has, like, ten lines of dialogue between every mission, so... Uh, you know, it takes forever, there's just so much reading. I guess he might have just killed himself. I was gonna go back up and kill him, but uh, I guess that's it. Oh. It's also, uh, Tactics Silver, it's also, like, fairly linear, uh, there's not, a, like, a ton of side stuff to do, so I don't get distracted by all that, uh, but it is, it's got some branches and stuff, and you can go back to do previous ones, so I like that, and that's kind of my ideal tactical game, uh, flow. And it does have some hidden characters in it, which I like too. Uh, like, I like that it's mostly uh, generic characters, but that there are hidden ones. Uh, and also, like, actually hidden ones, like, you know, you can just miss them or... Uh, you know, and they're not necessary to the story, uh, like Deneb. Uh, I think, you know, the way you get Deneb, I think that's one of the, I don't know, coolest optional character things in any game. Uh, you just hire a generic character and name them Deneb, and then turn them into a witch, and then uh, they become Deneb the witch. Uh, and it's fun to go through that game, uh, and like you, you know, just use generic or just use the special characters, so you can you can get Deneb like pretty much immediately. Uh, maybe that wasn't smart. Jeez. Ah, that was annoying. I got kind of stun locked there. I guess maybe because there was two of them. Let's see. Nope. Okay.
that's going to cause trouble. Hmm. Now, I think now it's finally the, uh, yeah, now it's the, uh, knife throw, fall into the pit spot. You know, I'm, I'm skipping all the cutscenes just for the uh, quickness of it, but uh, they are quite funny. And I don't know. I do recommend watching them if it's if you're gonna play this. You know, for your first time, anyways. Shotgun, I guess. What are you buying? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't remember if there's another uh, attach case soon. Uh, probably. Come. Yeah. Should uh, upgrade that capacity to refill it. Uh, same with the mines. What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all strength? <laughs> Thank you. And I guess that's that firepower. <laughs> this is going to be, uh, it's going to come in handy real soon. How many do I 
I got anyways. Uh, 10, 18, or I got 18 magnum shots and uh, 15 mines. So I will probably use a fair number of those in the upcoming area. Uh, but that'll be another day.